So obviously coming off the bye week, what did you see in practice this week? We had good energy all week, really did. Uh, we split up and uh, we've been going some good on good still even this week, uh, carried over from a week ago. But uh, guys have worked really hard. They've had great attitudes. Uh, there's been really good energy at practice. So really, really proud of how they've showed up every day to work. Monday you talked a little bit about Six Killer saying he'll get opportunities. Mm -hmm. Is he going to get an opportunity on Saturday? No, I don't know about that, um, but he will. He'll, he'll play in his four games so we don't burn a red shirt. But uh, he had a really good week of practice last week. He's got a little bit of reps this week. But uh, excited to see what he can do. You know, um, he, he's a guy that we've got high expectations for, and I think get, getting him in some game actions this year is very important. That being said, what have you seen out of him in practice so far? I thought it was a great ball. It was a great deep ball, you know, and I think every day he's getting a little more comfortable with the offense. Keep in mind when we got to camp here this summer, he was coming off a shoulder injury, so he didn't get a whole lot of reps in camp. But um, so each practice this week, he's gotten a little bit better. They got the kid Parker on the end. Yeah. But, uh, obviously Is he still there? 14. He leads the country in tackles for the last 6.5 sacks. Are you going to be doing anything special with him? Obviously, you're going to key him and see him, but is he the big concern? Well, I mean, I think, uh, you know, we played a few teams that had a, a really good defense been like him, and uh, you, you definitely have, a, have to get, have a game plan for him, uh, but you can't just stray away from, you know, what you do. But, uh, no, he's, he's, he's uh, somebody you better have a plan for. He's a handful. He's very explosive off the line of scrimmage. Uh, you know, last year he was there stand up into the boundary, and, uh, you know, I think he's even developed into a, uh, even a better player than a year ago. So he's dynamic. Uh, we got to make sure we, we uh, can run the ball effectively against him and, and keep him off balance with some pass. I ask it seemingly every time we meet on a Thursday, what are kind of the three keys for you guys? <laughs> I always give you the same answer to yep. <laughs> You know, no, I think th uh, this week's game is, number one, we got to protect the football. We have not done that the last two weeks, and we got to make sure we do that. Uh, the other thing is we, we got to keep our offense on the field and keep their high-powered offense off the field. And then defensively, we got to eliminate some of their explosive plays. they got a great offense. they got a, a trigger man that if he's comfortable in the pocket, he can hurt you. Uh, so we got to kind of get him off his mark a little bit, but uh, they're, a, they're a very good football team. That's that's why they're fifth in the country, but um, hey, college football, crazy things happen, and we just need to go out there and give our best effort. You talked a lot this week to Nate about the check downs, because they will give you that, and to make sure he's comfortable with that, not trying to get everything too much. Yeah, you know, they, they, they do a great job with their front four, and then their back end, they don't let anything get past them. So you're right, you, you got to take advantage of the underneath game and some of the mid 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 throws, kind of around 10, 15 yard line uh, from the line of scrimmage. But, um, you know, you, you got to be smart you can't force the issue and uh, you got to be patient. I think Southeastern is very patient with them and, and we're able to move the ball effectively. But their front four, they're, they're pretty dominant. I know before the bye week you talked about meeting with the tag holders and how everyone was still excited. And What has the energy kind of been like since coming off the bye week? You know, it's been good. Like I said uh, earlier, you know, I, I got to give my guys a lot of credit. They, they've been coming out there with great attitudes and working hard. And, uh, you know, we, we've kind of focused on, hey, why do we play the sport? Why do we coach the sport? You know, we got to go out there and have fun and work hard. And if we'll play four quarters to where we're having fun, there's a lot of energy and we're pulling for each other, anything can happen. And uh, we got to continue to make steps in that in that direction right there to become a, a complete team. And uh, we really haven't done that a lot. Um, stop worrying about the scoreboard. You know, just because somebody scores doesn't mean the game's over and just keep playing one play at a time. 20 graduates on their roster. <laughs> their offensive line. You like kicking me when I'm down. <laughs> but their offensive line has all five seniors, four of them grads. Obviously, experiences on their side. How do yeah. you combat that? You know, I think just doing your, your job one play at a time to your best ability. I mean, yeah, they, they've got a lot of talent and they got a lot of experience on that side of the, uh, uh, both both sides of the ball, to be honest with you. Um, but we, we just got to continue playing, play within ourselves, play one play at a time to our best ability, um, and, and not worry about, you know, a play that happened before, whether it was good or bad. But, you know, you, you got to be smart. You, you got to make sure you protect the football and you got to keep their offense off the field as much as you can. Uh, that's for sure because they, they're, they're really talented on both sides. Obviously, so far this season, second half has kind of been a point of weakness for you guys. Has that been a point of emphasis this week? Uh, you know, I think everything's been a point of emphasis. You know, getting back to the fundamentals, focusing on, you know, motivating your teammates, uh, encouraging your teammates, uh, having fun, cheering for each other, uh, all the little bitty things that sometimes you, you lose sight of when you're, you're going through a, a difficult season like we are right now. And, um, you know, just reeling them back in as far as, hey, why do you play this game? Why do you love this game? Let's go out there and have fun and do our best. And if I can get these guys to do their best one play at a time, then, then the wins will happen. Uh, even though we're young and inexperienced, you, you got to be focusing on doing your best job one play at a time and again not worrying about the scoreboard just the score will take care of itself just worry about one play
Um, Mike and Davey named to Phil Steele's All-American team today mid-season. What, what kind of a season has he had? What, what's I mean, he's having a good season. There's no doubt about that. Um, I, I think he's got a, a lot more in him. You know, I, I think he's uh, he's definitely has not peaked yet. Um, and and uh, we ask a lot from that young man. He is one of our leaders on that side of the ball. But um, I think he's got so much more room to grow. But um, he's having a great season.